no question that the Klingons are one of the most popular alien races in Star Trek. They were created by original series producer Gene Alcoon to represent the animosity between the United States and Russia during the Cold War. Legend says that they got their name from Lieutenant Wilbur Klingon, who was a partner of Gene Roddenberry during his years in the Los Angeles Police Department. Since then their appearance changed a lot and they appeared in 11 Enterprise, 7 original series, 2 animated series, 31 Next Generation, 49 Deep Space Nine, 14 Voyager episodes and 12 of the motion pictures. And their story will continue in the new series Discovery. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to introduce you to the actors who are going to play Klingon characters on Star Trek Discovery. First of all, Kenneth Mitchell, he's taking over the role of Commander Cole from Shazad Latif. He's mostly known for his roles on Jericho and the Astronaut Wives Club, but he also appeared on TV series such as The Ghost Whisperer, Flashpoint, Grey's Anatomy, Odyssey 5 or CSI Miami. Our next actor is Chris Obi, who's going to play Tkuvma, a Klingon leader who wants to unite the Klingon houses. He was security guard George on Doctor Who season 6 episode Closing Time and Anubis on American Gods. We could see him in the movie Snow White and the Huntsman as the Mirror Man, the science fiction short film Romulus and he also appeared in the highly anticipated adaptation of Ghost in the Shell starring Scarlett Johansson. Lorel, the battle deck commander of a Klingon ship, is going to be played by Mary Chifo. She's a well-established stage actress, mostly known for her Shakespearean roles in theatre, and she also appeared in the almost completely silent film with music, The Perfect Fit, in 2012, alongside Octavia Spencer. Damon Runyon's going to play Ujili, who's described as a leader in the Klingon Empire. His on-screen credits include Smallville, Supernatural, Degrassi, The Next Generation, Nikita, Lost Girl and Haven. His biggest role up to date is Charles Falco, a formal ATF informant on History Channel's factual-based drama series Gangland Undercover. Ujili's partner, Dennis, is going to be played by relatively unknown actress Claire McConnell. Hi. My name is Claire McConnell, and this is a song about problems. Oh, oh, oh we've all got a... What's your problem? As you could see, she has her own YouTube channel to which you can all subscribe. So they were the actors who are going to portray Klingon characters on Discovery, but what else do we know about the Klingons? Well, not much. We've seen a glimpse of uniforms in the teaser trailer that might belong to Klingons, and there's also been a photograph in circulation on Twitter that allegedly shows extras playing Klingon characters during their break. Even though it was said that established races might look different in Discovery, there was a huge uproar on the internet about the look of these Klingons. Someone however pointed out that these extras are on their break so they might not be wearing wigs and facial hair which could make a massive difference. Whether they are the actual Klingons we are going to see on Discovery or not, their look reminds me very much of the Klingons in Star Trek Into Darkness. A few months ago rumours surfaced that Michael Dorn would appear on the series just as he did in The Undiscovered Country as an ancestor of war. He confirmed that indeed there were negotiations, however he was offered less than 1% of what he made in his last contract to play Worf, therefore he turned down the opportunity. It is of course bad news, however it might also mean that the Klingons are not going to look that drastically different than what we are used to. 
And that's all we know about the Klingons for now. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.